Hello viewers, subscribers and my fellow teachers. Welcome once again to Clem's Math Solutions. In this video, I'll be showing you the proof of the area of a trapezium. You know the area of a trapezium, which is the half sum of the parallel size times height. I mean, the half, this is the parallel size of, of uh, the trapezium. So the area of a trapezium is that the half sum of the parallel size times height, or the sum of the parallel size times height divided by two. That is the area of a trapezium. So in this video, I'll be showing you the proof of this formula, you know, in a very simple way. And with that, you can teach your pupils um, how to actually go about solving areas of a trapezium. With that, they will never forget the area of a trapezium. It's very, very simple, I bet you. So follow me as I show you the proof of this beautiful formula. Now you can see that this is a trapezium of top T and base B. This is a top and this is the base. This is a height. Now, I want to split this trapezium into two shapes which is a rectangle, uh, a triangle, and a rectangle. So if I split this shape, I'm going to have something like this. Okay. So this shape is equal to this. Okay. I split it from here. And then we know that here is T, so this is T, and this is B. So we are well write it. I can write it here or here, okay? Because this B is for everything, okay? So what will be this length alone? According to uh, the rectangle, we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Therefore, if here is T, that means here is T as well. Okay, now what will be the value, or rather the, yes, the value of this uh, weight? It should be the same thing as H. Okay, you can see that here is H, therefore here is also H. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So if here is H, here is also H. Okay, and we know that this is, this part of, of the triangle actually came from here. So the length of this triangle or the height of this triangle is something as the height of this uh, rectangle. So here is also H because they actually are together before they were split. So they are the same. The heights are the same. Now, the, the, the only part missing here is the base of this triangle. So what would be the base of this triangle? Since everything is B, okay, and here alone is T, that means that here alone should be the, the B minus this T, okay? Come here. From here to here is B, and here alone is T. That means that here alone should be B minus T. So I can call this place B minus t okay now i've been able to get everything that i need now this is a, a triangle and we can actually find the area of this triangle we know that the area of a triangle okay is half base times height okay and here this is the base the base has been labeled as b minus c so it should be half base this is the base b minus t is the base then times height. Now this is the area of a of this triangle. What's the area of this right angle? You know that area of a right angle is length times two, which is t times h here. So this is t times h, which is something as t h. Okay. Now we have found the area of a, of a triangle and the area of the rectangle. That means we can actually uh, find the area of this trapezium, how? By summing the, the two areas. 
the area of the triangle and the area of the rectangle. So the area of this trapezium will be the sum of these two areas because these two shapes actually make up the trapezium. So we're going to sum them together. And if we do that, we're going to have half B minus T H plus T H. Okay, T times H is T H. So this is what we are going to have. Now we are going to simplify this formula right now by opening this bracket and then adding up everything. So this is going to be half, uh, opening this bracket, we're going to have BH and TH. B, uh, H times B is, uh, is what? BH minus H times T is TH. Now we have plus TH outside the bracket. So this is what we have. Okay, now we are going to uh, actually open up this bracket to have that uh, this is equal to uh, BH minus TH over 2, then plus TH. Then we, we want to add these two things together, so we're going to uh, resolve them into a common denominator. Okay, we have BH minus TH over 2 plus TH over 1. So we're going to resolve them into a common denominator by finding the LCM. Now the LCM of 2 and 1 is uh, 2. So we say 2 divided 2 it is 1 times BH minus TH. You're going to give us BH minus T H. Then we have plus and to divide one, just a process of uh, adding fractions. So one one divide two is two times T H is two T H. Now this is where we are. Remember this is the area. Okay. Now uh, we have minus T H and two T H here. We something as saying. 2th minus th. Okay, so 2th minus th give us only 1th. So what we're going to have is that the area of this trapezium is equal to uh, th, th plus bh. This is what we're getting from here. Okay, 2th minus th is 1th, then plus bh. So I have one bh plus b one th plus bh all over two. Now you can see that h is common in these two values. H is common, so we're going to factor h out. So we're going to have that the area of a trapezium of this trapezium is actually uh, uh, that is to say. Uh, T plus B in bracket times H. Okay, if you open this bracket again, you're going to come back here and divide it by two. Okay, which comes down to one over two T plus B H. So this is the formula for finding the area of a trapezium. So you can see that is very it's very simple thank you for watching and may god bless you